Philadelphia 76ers. We were talking about Philly and how much of a dump it is, but um, you know, shout shout to the Sixers for actually, you know, they 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 fought hard, man. Joel Embiid, I think he played his heart out. Obviously, he was I feel for the guy, man. Yeah, he was really um hampered with injuries with the knee, with the 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 mild bell palsy that he had. Yeah, like bro. that's terrible. Like it's just, you know, he did the best he could. He he really had a, a really effective game six. Until he fouled out, you know, yeah, I think he was 36 points and, you know, 12 rebounds or something like that, a few blocks. So, Embiid is going to get criticized because mm-hmm. when you're the guy, you're going to get criticized. With with one eye. Yeah. One leg. Problem is, when you look at Tobias Harris playing 29 minutes Trash. and taking one shot, no points, right? It, when you have guys like that on your team, when you don't have enough guns, mm-hmm. Kyle Lowry's old. Shout out to Maxi. You know, Tyrese Maxi is a young player in this league, but I I don't think that he's there yet mm-hmm. to be able to. He's pushing it. Yeah, to kind of like take the series over. He he's getting there, mm-hmm. but he it's just not there yet. You know what I mean? The margin of error in this series, yeah, Knicks one and six, but I think the They're point differential. Games. Yeah. The point differential between the two teams, you know, it was one point. Between all of the games, right? Yes, one it's crazy. point. It's crazy. What it's a great st- series. Yeah. So what's in store or what's next for the Philadelphia 76ers? I think Come to New York, I think, baby. <laughs> I think they have a lot, they have a lot of um of thinking to do. Crazy enough, Joel B took to his IG or it might have been X. And he said, you know, if you stay along, if you stay around long enough, you become the villain. Hmm. And Jimmy Butler ended up responding to him. He's like, yo, come to Miami, man. We know how to deal with villains. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And, and, and Bede said, yeah. So I don't know if it's real. I don't know. But I think... There may be a situation where we don't see Embiid in Philadelphia anymore. I think it's time for him to maybe leave because I agree. I don't think that he can carry a franchise anymore. He's one of those guys that he he's so banged up that he needs a Jimmy Butler. Mm. He needs somebody to be that one A. Okay. To be able to take over games when he's not at his best. Right, so if Joel Embiid is giving you his game and, and he's doing his thing, if his game kind of wanes because of attrition, at least you got a Jimmy Butler. At right. least you got somebody else that can be able to shoulder the load and be able to help him. You know what I mean? <clears throat> but him being the guy, I just don't. I don't think it's. Um, I think he's kind of at an advanced time in his career. I'm not saying he's an old person, but. In regards to the league, injuries, though. yeah, he doesn't have much time. So, what are you, what are your thoughts on that? Do, do you think that it might be time for him to to, to to leave? Absolutely, I think, you know, I think it was already his time to leave. I think you know he just did the the good thing, the right thing as far as, um, giving the new coach a chance. But um, I think moving forward, yeah, he should definitely take a look around and see you know see what's out there. He's only he only has a bunch of young players on his team, and um, you know it just makes more sense for him to go out there and I don't want to say team up, but you know that's kind of the the culture right now. The league culture is is two guys, three guys that you could trust, right? So you know why not? I mean, personally, I'd love for him to come to New York, but he already has a relationship with Jimmy, right? I could that's a very strong possibility that he goes to Miami. Yeah, Keith, I, I I agree. I agree that um, you know, it might be time for a change, and you know, I think sometimes you stick around too long for people to start really dissecting and criticizing you and calling you out your name and all of this stuff. I mean, listen, he was there for the trust the process, the process, this that, you know, was there with the biggest criminal in North American history, Ben Simmons, ben right? Ben Simmons, man. he was there. 
He was there when the the franchise decided not to sign Jimmy Butler and sign Tobias Harris. Like he was there throughout that. Like so, he's seen the ups and downs. It, it might be time for for MB to leave. They they had the veteran. They had James Harden. They yeah, tried that messed that up. Yeah. Well, I mean, he didn't mess that up. It's just the fact that Harden was just you, you can't make Harden happy. He's he he's just a miserable. You know what?